Okay, class, we're going to be uh, going over some word problems that are related to systems of linear equations. And your homework assignment is going to be to do this. It's page 214 out of the packet. You're going to do the odd problems. What I'm going to do is the even problems. So I'm going to uh, just basically work through these. That's going to be the lecture for today. And uh, hopefully watching me work these, you'll kind of get a feel for how to convert the word problem into a system of equations and then use either substitution or elimination to solve the problem. So let's start with the first one, number 12. <clears throat> All right, so it says here that on, on a farm, there are pigs and chickens, right? We've got pigs and chickens on this farm. There are seven more pigs than chickens with a total of 58 feet. Feet meaning the feet, right? Chickens have feet and pigs have feet, right? Chickens have two, two feet and pigs, oh gosh, two feet per chicken and four feet per pig, right? So we have a total of 58 feet. How many of each type of animal are there? Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to think about the variables X and Y. We need to assign some value to these. In other words, what is X gonna be measuring? What is Y gonna be measuring? So we wanna know how many of each type of animal there is. So let's just let a, X be the number of pigs we have. X will be the, I should put the number of pigs, not how many feet, but how many pigs we have. So the number of pigs we have because that's what we want to know, how many of each type of animal. So X is the number of pigs and Y will be the number of chickens. Now, what do we know? We know that there are a total of 58 feet and we know that there are seven more pigs than chickens. So however many um, pigs there are, right? that's the number of pigs X, is seven more, uh, seven more pigs than we have chickens. Oops, I did this wrong. So let's let, if Y is, if y is the number of, of chickens we have, right? We have seven more pigs than we have chickens. So if we add seven to the number of chickens we have, that'll be how many <clears throat> pigs we have. So let me read through that again. There are seven more pigs than chickens. So this is the number of pigs we have. It should be seven more than the number of chickens we have. That's the first equation. The second equation comes from the fact that we know how many feet we have total. So we know for every pig, we have four feet. So for every pig, for every X we have, there's four feet for each of them. So if we had one, we'd have four feet. Four feet. If we had two uh, pigs, we'd have eight. Three, we'd have 12 and so on and so forth. We know that that number plus the number of feet per chicken, so we have two feet for every chicken we have. We know that the total of those together is 58. And so what we have here is two equations and two unknowns. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and solve this. Um, I guess I'll just do uh, substitution. Let me do substitution on this because this first equation is already solved for X. So since I know X is gonna be Y plus seven, I can now take that and substitute that into the other equation, right? 4x plus 2y equals 58. I can replace the, the x, right? I'm replacing the x right there with y plus seven. So this becomes four <clears throat> times y plus seven plus 2y equals 58. And now I distribute the four through, so 4y, plus 28 plus 2y equals 58. Put my y's together, 6y. Let's subtract 28 on both sides, so that gives me 30. <clears throat> and then divide by six and I get y is equal to five. Once I know what y is, I bring this down and now I will figure out what x is. So x equals y plus seven. So X will be equal to five plus seven. So X is equal to what, 12. Now we need to answer the question because this is not a point. I mean, it is a point on a graph algebraically, but we're talking about pigs and chickens here. 
X was the number of pigs, Y was the number of chickens. So we should have 12 pigs and we should have five chickens. And let's just double check that this makes sense. We should have seven more pigs than chickens. So we have 12 pigs, five chickens. So there's seven more pigs than chickens and a total of 58 feet. So if we take this and multiply it times four, because each pig has four feet, we would get 48 feet. And then the chicken here, each chicken has two feet. So if we multiply that, we get 10, we add those up. And of course we get 58 feet. So looks like we got it. This works, we're good to go. All right, let's look at the next one, number 14. The whole, the whole I guess, challenge here is to get these things converted into the equations. That's the hard part. So once you get to the equation, you got substitution or you have elimination and we get it done. Okay, a landscaper is designing a park <clears throat> and placed two orders with the nursery. The first order was for 13 trees and four bushes and totaled $1,075. The second order was for six trees and two bushes and, ordered, and the, totaled uh, $500. What is the cost of a tree? What is the cost of a bush? Okay, so we're assuming the two orders was the same type of tree and the same type of bush here. So let's let X be equal to the cost of a tree that's what we want to know. And then let's let Y be equal to the cost of a bush. All right, so what do we know? We know he placed two orders. On the first order, there were 13 trees and four bushes. So they did 13 trees, 13 of those trees, plus four of the bushes. So 13 times X would be 13 times the cost of each tree. So if each tree was like you know, $100, it'd be 13 times 100, right? So that's why I'm writing 13 X. It's the number of trees times how much each cost plus the number of bushes times how, times how much each bush, bush cost. That should be equal to 1,075. That's our first equation. The second order, they did six trees. So six X plus two bushes and that was $500, <clears throat> and that is our system. Now for this one, I'm gonna use elimination. I'm gonna look at my X's, and there's not an easy way to make those X's go away, but the Y's I can make go away pretty easily if I make that bottom one a negative four Y. So I multiply everything by negative two, which gives me a new system of equations, 13X plus four Y, equals 1,075, let me do something real quick. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and uh, I'll multiply through on the bottom by the negative two, you get negative 12 X, let me do that in green. Negative 12 X minus four Y equals negative 500. And now we add down, so these go away. All right, we got nothing here. Um, 13 X take away 12 X, that's gonna be just a single X. That must be equal to uh, 1075 minus 500, that's 575. And that's what X is, there's nothing else for us to do. So X is 575. Once we have that, we can pick any equation we want. So I'll just take the first one. I will replace the X here with the answer we just got for X. So 13 times 575 plus 4Y equals 1075. So 575 times 13 is uh, something right here. Negative two. Oh, you know what? I, I made a mistake. I see it. I, I could tell something was going to go wrong there. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. You probably caught it. And this is one of the mistakes. I multiplied through negative two here. I got negative 12x. Negative two times here, negative four y. I forgot to do the negative two times 500. I didn't. For some reason, I multiplied by negative one. This should be negative 1,000. 
yeah, that was gonna cause major problems. Negative 1000 here. And then when I subtract or add those down, I get 75. Oof, that would have been bad. 75, okay, there we go. I was gonna say 575 trees, that's a lot of trees. Okay, 75 trees. All right, now we, we bring that over here and we replace the X with 75 plus four Y equals 1075. Okay, so now I do 13 times 75, and that gives me 975 here, plus four Y equals 1075. I subtract um, 975 on each side. I think what I get, 100, uh, yeah, 100. Um, so four Y, equals 100. So that means divide both sides by four, you get y is 25. So remember, x was the cost of a tree, y was the cost of a bush. So that means a tree cost is uh, $75. And a bush cost is $25. There we go. All right, moving on. Oh, only one more for me to do. Okay, cool. Copy that and paste it here. <clears throat> All right, a nurse is ordering two different kinds of medicine. Medicine A costs $7 per gram. Medicine B costs $9.75 per gram. The total bill is $268.58. And the nurse orders 24 grams more of medicine A than medicine B. How much of each medicine did she order? Ooh, okay. So X is gonna be the amount. We wanna know how much of each is ordered. So X will be the amount of a that she ordered, and then let's let Y be the amount of medicine B that she ordered. Okay, so the total bill, okay, the total bill is $268.50. So I know $268.50 is equal to, it's however much of A she ordered times the cost of it. So it costs seven dollars per gram. So it's going to be seven times x. So the amount here that we're looking for here is in grams. And same with this, the amount of this. This is in grams also. So she's going to pay seven dollars per gram that she orders for the medicine A. Plus she's going to pay nine seventy five per gram for medicine B, and that should be 268.50. That's the first equation. The second equation <clears throat> comes from this fact that the nurse ordered 24 more grams of medicine A than she did of medicine B. So whatever she ordered for B, A is gonna be 24 more than that. So if she, she orders Y for, I'm gonna write it over here, Whatever she orders for medicine B, if you add 24 to that, that's how much she got of medicine A. So look at it this way. Medicine A is X, that's how much she ordered, is 24 grams more than medicine B. So that's my second equation. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this Y to the other side, make it minus Y and get rid of it here. And that means this equation looks like this. And that I'm gonna put here, X minus Y equals 24 and have a system that looks like that. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna use elimination and I wanna make the X's go away. So I'm gonna multiply by negative seven here, 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 and here. When I do that, my new system is seven X plus 9.75 Y equals 268.50. And then I multiply by negative seven, make sure I get it all the way through this time, plus seven Y, and then equals, let's see, just I don't wanna make any mistakes here, 24 times negative seven is gonna be negative 168. 
All right, now we add down. These go away. Plus this right here should be 1675Y equals, you got 268. So that's uh, 100.50, we add that down. 168, 268.50 take away 168 is gonna be 150. Now this, this zero is gone, so I'll divide both sides. Divide by 16.75, and I get y is equal to six. All right, I know what y is. Now to get x, I can plug it into any one of these. I'm gonna grab this one, this is a nice one. It doesn't have any decimals in it. So I'm gonna have x minus y equals 24. And I know y is six, so x minus six equals 24. So if I add six to both sides, I get 30. So x is 30. So let's answer the question. How many grams of medicine A? Well, that's x. So x was uh, 30. So 30 grams of medicine A. And then y is the amount of uh, medicine B. So six grams of medicine B. There you go. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, I will say that um, on this number 11, I was looking at it. Um, oh, you know what? I forget to do, I forgot to do 10. I'm sorry, I'll do 10, hold on. Um, Tim Duncan, San, uh, the San Antonio Spurs, once scored 36 points on 22 shots, um, shooting only two point in free throws. Um, so you just have to know that when you shoot a basket in basketball, regular baskets worth two points, the free throw is worth one, which it states here. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of like the pig and the feet, right? It's like a, a pig has four feet, a chicken has two. It's kind of the same thing. Like a basic um, shot, a regular shot would be two points and then a free throw would be one. So they want to know how much of each type of shot. So the two type of shots that he could have would be just like a regular basket, a regular shot, and then the other one would be a free throw. So that might help you if you're not familiar with basketball. Okay, let me do 10 because I forgot about it. All right, so for number 10, okay, Myra is selling two types of candy bars at a school fundraiser, sour sillies and coconuts, I guess. On the first day, she sold two sour sillies and four coconuts. On the second day, she sold four sour sillies and two coconuts for $11. Find the price of each candy bar. Okay, so X is gonna be equal to the price of a sour silly, the sour sillies, and then Y is gonna be equal to the price of the coconuts. All right, so let's see. On the first day, she sold two of the sour sillies. So she, she sold two of those plus four of the coconuts and that totaled $10. And then on the second day, she sold four of the sour sillies and two of the coconuts and that was $11 she made. There's our two equations. So now all we need to do is figure out what X and Y are. Um, yeah, I just, I'm going to do elimination again, because I can see that I can make the X's go away if I multiply by negative two here and distribute that through. So my new system is going to be negative four X minus eight Y, make sure that negative two goes through to everything equals negative 20. And then I have four X plus two Y equals 11. And then I add down. So these add to be nothing. This is negative six Y. And this over here gives me negative nine. Okay. And so now we divide both sides by negative six and you get positive nine over six, which is, let's see, we reduce that. That's three over two, which is 1.50. So that should be the price of the coconuts. That's $1.50. Then to get what X is, I pick any equation I want. 
I'll go ahead and just pick the first one here. And I'm going to replace that y with 150. So 4y equals 10. Replace the y with 150. Okay, 2x. Now, this right here should give you, oh, I forgot plus. Plus, this should be 6 when you multiply the 4 times 150. Then I subtract 6 on both sides, and I get 2x is 4. And then x divided by 2, you get x is 2, so $2. So the price of the sour sillies is $2. And the price of the coconuts was $1.50. All right. Hope that helps. Again, thank you all for your understanding. We'll see you next week.